Unraveling the Mystery, Howling at the Moon. Hello, wonderful language explorers. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that often pops up in English conversations, stories, and even songs. The phrase is, to howl at the moon. Let's unravel its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in your everyday English. Whether you're an English language learner or just someone intrigued by the beauty of expressions, this video is for you. First, let's break down the literal meaning of to howl at the moon. To howl means to make a long, loud, doleful cry, typically associated with wolves or dogs. And, as you might guess, the moon refers to the Earth's natural satellite that shines bright in the night sky. So, putting it together, if someone or something is howling at the moon, they are, in the most direct sense, making a loud cry towards it. This image often evokes a sense of wilderness, nighttime, and the primal calls of animals under the moonlight. Moving beyond the literal, to howl at the moon, often carries a deeper, metaphorical significance. In a figurative sense, it describes actions that are fruitless, pointless, or in vain. It's used to depict someone's efforts that are unlikely to bring about any change or have any significant outcome, much like how a wolf's howl doesn't affect the moon. This expression can be applied to various contexts, from personal endeavors to broader societal or political efforts. To give you a clearer picture, let's look at some examples. 1. In personal endeavors, he's been trying to get her attention for months, but honestly, it's like howling at the moon. She doesn't even notice him. 2. In professional settings, Sending countless emails to the big corporations asking for a policy change felt like howling at the moon, but we kept trying. 3. In literature and music, artists often use the phrase to convey deep emotional pain, longing, or the futility of their desires. For instance, a song might use howling at the moon to describe unrequited love or the pursuit of an unreachable dream. When using, to howl at the moon, it's important to understand the context you're applying it to. It's a powerful way to express the idea that some efforts may be noble or heartfelt but ultimately won't lead to the desired outcome. You can use it both in a sympathetic tone to show empathy for someone's futile efforts or in a critical way to highlight the pointlessness of certain actions. We hope this exploration into the phrase, to howl at the moon, has enlightened and entertained you. English is a language rich with expressions that capture the human experience in vivid detail, and understanding these phrases can not only enhance your linguistic skills but also deepen your appreciation for the nuances of English. Keep chasing the moon with your learning, and remember, not all howls are in vain, some lead you to new understandings. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.